News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. And a very good morning to you. Top of the morning indeed to you. This is Newsline. Live as always from the News First studios in Dorset Street in Colombo. And this morning, um, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, indeed, uh, control room, we have a problem, don't we? Because our guest, uh, Mr. Vidro Vikramanayaka, is stuck in traffic. And uh, whilst he's making his way, albeit slowly, some unusual traffic from where he's coming, he's always on time, usually. Um, but with the uh, latest in uh, technology, uh, something called the telephone, we will be joining Mr. Vidra Vikramanayaka very shortly. We also hope to be joined on the program by telephone by uh, Mr. Lassil de Silva. Now then, yesterday, Kamer's boy, also known as the Minister of Finance, uh, delivered his uh, budget uh, speech. And uh, we had, uh, we had uh, summaries which uh, we'll probably uh, talk about shortly but uh, they were uh, in no particular order. Expressway toll increased uh, during uh, peak hours by 100 rupees. 2,500 allowance to state workers, uh, free milk for rural students, taxes on cars jacked up, go-kart taxes reduced in an attempt to apparently um, promote that um, as a sort of destination uh, in Sri Lanka as a destination for go-karting. Cigarettes um, go up in price, passport fees have increased, and con some concessionary loans for youth, flexible working hours for the ladies, soft loans for higher education, uh, Jaffna Expressway to be built fast, and housing loans for newly married couples, bus fleets to be augmented. Now then, we'll go, on, uh, we'll go by telephone to Mr. Vidura Vikramanayaka, um, Member of Parliament, and over the telephone. Very good morning to you, Mr. Vidura. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. I'm sorry that you're in traffic. What's your What's your take uh, on this budget? Uh, is it a good one, bad one, mediocre one, predictable one? Houston, we have a problem again. Hello, good morning again, Mr. Vidra. Can you hear us? No, it's um, the the line with Mr. Vidra Vikramanaka isn't working. Um, we we'll join. We'll try and join uh, Mr. Lassil de Silva as well. Why we try to reconnect you with uh, Ricky McDuss. Uh, with Mr. Um In the meantime, shall we shall we try and get Mr. Lassil de Silva on the line um, and uh, try that? But in the meantime, uh, I'll just take you through some of the news in the in the papers. In today's Island um, uh, has uh, various stories on the front page, including the one on uh, the brigadier Priyanka Fernando, uh, a military attaché in London who was uh, convicted uh, of uh, threatening uh, behavior uh, and was convicted under British uh, public order uh, laws uh, because um, he was convicted in his absence. He is not in Britain. Um, and according to Mr. Mujibur Rahman, uh, the UNP backbenchers want to teach the president a lesson. Um, and we then have, of course, the big news uh, is that uh, about, about the budget, and that's on in the island. Um, and the island also, the, the headline story about the budget, um, said that uh, there was a boost for the Gamperlia project in terms of money, uh, and that was uh, sort of welcomed news by some. And now we have got over the telephone, Mr. Lassil de Silva. Very good morning to you, Mr. Lassil. Hey, hello. Good morning, Mr. Lassil. Hello. 
Good morning, bless you. Can you hear us? No, we can't hear each other. All right, the Daily Mirror, uh, again, obviously, uh, uh, reports on the budget. And according to uh, uh, the journalists uh, Johan Pereira and Ajit Sirivodna uh, at the Daily Mirror, the budget aims uh, at a liberal, outbound, outward-oriented economy. 400 million rupees will be allocated to construct 100,000 toilets. Um, 10 billion has been allocated to, to develop rural roads. 45,000 million will be allocated for drinking water projects across the country. And 1 billion or 1,000 million has been allocated for the beautification of Colombo. And further highlights include Charges for one-day service for passports will increased will be increased to five thousand rupees, and the normal service will be three thousand. And one thousand arts graduates will be trained through internships, and twenty-five thousand rupees will be paid by the government, uh, and three hundred million has been allocated for this. Um, the the flip side is also reported in the Daily Mirror, and the JVP leader Andra Kumar Desanayake said yesterday, uh, initial reaction was that the budget was for was an extension of the liberalised economic policies, and that it would plunge the country into a severe debt trap if we are not in it already. And then a further further. Uh, thoughts here. A monthly allowance of 2,500 will be given to state employees from the 1st of July 2019. And commandos uh, receive an allowance for all, all military personnel commanders will receive an increased allowance of 5,000 rupees. And home sweet home loan scheme for newly married couples with a repayment period of 25 years at an uh, interest rate of uh, 6% must be welcome news indeed for them. And uh, tax concessions will be given to companies that give, uh, grant their employees three months maternity leave. There's no mention of paternity leave. Free glass of milk to primary school children across the country and uh, cess on imported construction material will be reduced by 30%. Now in Newsline, we encourage you to send us your questions by SMS and uh, straight through to 0772 300 305. We'll get you your message right here. Um, I think the number will come up on the card as well. Um, and here we go. Let's, uh, let's see here. Um, we are all right. We're about to take a short break. Don't go away. This is News Nine. We'll come right back to you after we start out. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. And uh, welcome back. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's bad Wednesday. Uh, we're having problems connecting um, Mr. Vidruvi Krumnaka and all that sort of by telephone. Uh, so much for modern technology. Uh, anyway, but um, let's take some of the questions, shall we? And they are, here we go, the first one here. It says the army guy who was just convicted in the United Kingdom should be court-martialed as he disgraced the country. There should be officers and gentlemen. This is the problem when men with no proper background being given posts that they are not geared to handle. This is obviously in reference to uh, Brigadier Priyanka Fernando who was uh, uh, convicted in uh, the United Kingdom kingdom uh, against their, the UK's public uh, order rules and um, it came uh, the uh, the case came to trial in the United Kingdom after um, uh, Mr. Fernando was uh, uh, the diplomatic immunity given to him was removed by the government of Sri Lanka and he was recalled uh, and he returned to Sri Lanka and um, that, that was one one take we'd like to if you'd like to um, send us your questions, please do. It's on 0772-300-305. The number will appear on your screen shortly. 
And uh, there's another question here. Uh, do you believe that there is no proposal in this budget which can be rated as good or useful? Well, um, I'm sure that it's useful to, uh, to have uh, the milk given to the school children in uh, rural areas, uh, and it's useful that uh, students who uh, did their A-levels and didn't, uh, weren't able to get into university are being given a loan of 1.1 million rupees uh, with a two-year grace period for repayment. Uh, these, th these things are the same as uh, in other parts of the world. Uh, we've got um, in, uh, in the United Kingdom, uh, the, there are student loans being given, and it uh, seems to be working rather well because uh, they have to repay it back at advantages uh, at uh, low interest rates. Uh, when once you start working and once you start earning more than a certain threshold. Some people believe that those are uh, patently fair. And another question here. Uh, implementation of proposals will take time till April. Can any other proposal before the next budget, that is next November? Well, I'm sure that uh, there are the, uh, the Parliament will uh, vote uh, uh, they can do interim things, but I don't think they need to because they've already passed themselves money that will take them until April when this all this kicks in. Um, and uh, uh, this is another person asking whether the Sri Lankan government will be minded to extradite uh, Brigadier Priyanka Fernando uh, to the United Kingdom. Well, that all depends, I suppose, on whether the United Kingdom want him back to serve, the, uh, to serve any time or any sentence. Uh, and the uh, Norman uh, Pali Wardener in the island has written about uh, that the police have recovered a prized diamond and gems worth 700 million. Uh, and the Pali Wardener police uh, are the ones who are responsible for doing that. Um, and a senior police officer uh, was, uh, told the island that the Paligoda police had recovered the diamond at uh, Kesselwater in Panagura uh, after questioning uh, Indica Sampat, uh, who's also known as Kaluma, and supposedly a close associate of Mark Andre Madush. Um, and here we go. Um, the uh, Another question here, uh, budget makes students and newly married into a debt trap. Well, that's another angle, uh, but uh, there will be people who say that uh, it's an opportunity that is being given and uh, it's up to uh, each couple whether to decide to take it on or leave it. Uh, just like the national debt, one can neither take it or leave it. Uh, and. Uh, there we go. Uh, somebody else. Uh, uh, well, somebody else is asking us if um, uh, we've managed to fix the technical problem, but apparently we haven't. Uh, and the the daily. Let's just go on to the daily news, lest we be accused of being partial. Uh, incentives for all segments. New proposals to meet revenue targets. And uh, the, uh, some of the other highlights here, an, alloca an allocation for religious development increased from 500,000 to 1 million. Um, <clears throat> and then, let's say, uh, allowances for persons with disabilities increased by 2,000 from 3,000 to 5,000. Import tax on petrol vehicles below 800 cc increased by 150,000 rupees and vehicles below 1,000 cc by 175,000. Uh, that, that, we'll repeat that again. The import tax on petrol vehicles below 800 cc increased by 150,000 and vehicles below 1,000 cc by 175,000. And uh, no foreign investors allowed to bid for government projects unless fully funded by the foreign countries. 
that might be a very good idea. The express way toll charges to be increased by 100 rupees during peak hours, and uh, international scholarships from top universities for best performed advanced level students. And uh, the th 300 million has been allocated for the rehabilitation of giant tanks. Again, that will be uh, probably uh, very welcome news indeed. Uh, the levy on one kilo of beady leaves will be increased to 3,000 from 2,500. And 48,000 million will, has been allocated to strengthen the gum perlier program, which we told you about uh, slightly earlier. And 600 million to uplift the service area free ambulance service in the country. And uh, another one here, uh, the Sihina Maliga loan scheme for expatriates to commence from next month. This is a loan scheme for uh, expatriates um, were working abroad and uh, earning their monies uh, outside of Sri Lanka. And uh, let's have a look. And the <coughs> All right, we've got some more questions here then. Uh, so we're not going to take that. All right. Uh, the president unveils a multi-pronged drive to curb drug smuggling. Tri forces the police, the Coast Guard, and the customs all roped into this. And perhaps there'll be questions surrounding this. We'd like to know what the public uh, are thinking on the latest, uh, the, the intense efforts being made to, and the successes in terms of detecting uh, drugs uh, smuggled in and so on. As you can see, there have been several high-profile cases. And uh, somebody is asking, have they specified the peak hours for the expressway? Um, we, as soon as we find out, we'll obviously give it as much publicity as we can. And uh, yes, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go for a short break and come right back. <coughs> um, let's have a look. The salon today, usually quite vociferous, is uh, the and the daily the daily FT. The salon today is doing much of the same thing. Uh, but here we go. We've got some other uh, items here. Twelve billion has been allocated. On that note, we'll go for a short break. Don't go away. This is Newsline. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. I welcome back to Newsline. Unfortunately, due to a, a series of events, we've been unable to get our guest here who's stuck in traffic. And we've also got a uh, problem with uh, the, some technical issue which prevents us from joining the guest by telephone as well. So here we go. Uh, the Daily FT reports that Mind Raja Pax, the former president and the current leader of the opposition, a member of parliament for Kurnagala, says that this is a deceptive budget. Calling the budget deceptive, the leader of the opposition said that the budget presented will put a further burden on the people. They have given a misleading picture, according to Mr. Raja Paksa. People will feel it when they have to pay up. Uh, and benefits are just a pittance, according to Mr. Rajapaksa's take on this. Uh, clearly unimpressed with the allowances and salary increments granted to the state sector, Mr. Rajapaksa said that although the government has given salary increases to the military, it has neglected to extend the same to the police. There is a small allowance for commandos. There are so many other special units in the army uh, which have been neglected uh, so lamented the former president. And um, whilst we come to the end of uh, this morning's uh, uh, disasters pr program, we uh, would like to remind you that uh, there are other matters as well going on around us, and one that's happening outside, uh, the U uh, outside of Sri Lanka, and that is the UN. Now, all eyes will be on the government to see whether they're, where this time around they're going to be standing, where their stance is. Are they going to stand were, uh, asking for an investigation locally, or are they going to be part of a further co-sponsoring 
on other matters. And this is a matter that will likely to continue to attract the attention of the public, uh, mainly in part because there are some who've uh, been traveling at their own cost to uh, uh, Geneva to make their own representations in the interest of, uh, in their, what they term, patriotic interest. And so that will be something that uh, is going to be coming up. Uh, we sorry once again for this morning's uh, disaster, but uh, there you go. That's the way the cookie crumbled this morning. And on that note, we'll take your leave. Thank you very much for bothering to tune in. Do take care. Have a great day ahead. And God bless. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukutali.